Well, hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wasserman, and today I'm going to show you how to create and then attach a rubber band engine to your standardized Connects vehicle. Now, you were provided with the rubber band engine in question. As you can see, this is three rubber bands that have been attached together so that they can uh, stretch the length of the vehicle itself. Okay? But in the event that you've misplaced this rubber band strand, or if it breaks on you, or, uh, you know, life happens, you are also provided with three large rubber bands in which you can make the rubber band engine. And it's pretty simple, okay? So I am going to take my two rubber bands out of the three. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take one rubber band and thread it through another. So you see how I have one going through the hole? Okay. Now I'm going to reach through one end, the left hand end. If, see, I'm right-handed, so I, I'm folding it over to my right hand. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull. And what that does is it creates a knot. Okay. It knots the two rubber bands together. Okay. Let me show you again. So now that I have two rubber bands connected, I'm going to thread the third rubber band through one of the two holes, one of the two other rubber bands, okay? And then I'm going to take one end of the, the third rubber band and thread it through the other loop right there. Let me, let me take that real slow so you can see it, okay? So I've got a rubber band through the center of another. I'm taking one half of that rubber band and then I'm threading it through the other half, okay? And then when I pull it tight, it creates a knot, okay? Now, once I have my rubber band engine put together, here's what we're going to be doing, okay? And now, when I asked you to build this standardized vehicle, I asked you to make a, a modification. Okay, and that was this gray piece right here on the back axle. Now, if you recall, the back and front axles are uh, built differently on this car. The front axle is fixed, meaning that it does not move, it does not spin. The wheels on the front are the only thing that spin. Okay, the back axle, on the other hand, is directly connected to the wheels, and when you spin the axle, it spins the wheels, or when you spin the wheels, it spins the axle. This gray piece right here is going to act like a little hook or a peg to hold on to one end of this rubber band engine. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. This front axle that is fixed is going to serve as the uh, the uh, the goal post or the uh, the, uh, the static place where our rubber band is going to stay, okay? So just like I did when I built my rubber band engine, I'm going to thread one end of my rubber band chain through the other end of the hole like that, okay? See what I did there? I'll do it again. So I just take my loop, right, one end or the other, okay? And I need to thread my rubber band through the hole, okay? And when I do that, it attaches my, my axle to the rubber band, okay? Now, let's look at a side view of my vehicle for a moment. See how these braces, blue with red, kind of rise above the gray uh, rods that make up the chassis? You're gonna take your rubber band engine and that's gonna go underneath, okay? Do you see how that's under the blue bars? Now, once you get it to this point, that's where this little peg comes in handy. And I'm going to latch that on. Okay. So during our experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to test the, uh, the differences between potential and kinetic energy. And we're going to build up some potential energy by wrapping this rubber band around the freewheeling back axle, okay? And I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to, oops, my wheel just fell off. 
that happens. Okay, so I'm going to take my rubber band and I'm going to twist my axle until this gray peg goes 360 degrees around, like so. Okay, I'm going to twist it so that I now have, as you can see, one uh, wrapped strap around the axle. So I've wrapped the end of my rubber band around it once. Okay, if I twist it again, that's going to wrap it up two times. Every time the gray little bracket, this gray little connector goes around, that wraps the rubber band around the axle even more. Okay, so this is three times. Now, I've built up some what, uh, what we call potential energy, okay? The, the, uh, the elasticity of the rubber band is being stretched, and if I let go of the axle, if I let go of this gray piece right here, well, I bet you could predict what's going to happen. It releases the potential energy and transforms it into kinetic energy, which in turn spins the axle. Okay, so when I wrap my rubber band around the axle using this gray connector to kind of hold it in place, I'm creating what we call potential energy. When I release that potential energy, the car then moves on its own. Okay, so that is the basis of our experiment today. We are going to test potential and kinetic energy by using a rubber band engine. Okay? I hope this video helps you with the connecting of the rubber band, the building of the rubber band uh, engine, and the uh, execution of spinning it around the axle. Of course, if you have questions, ask me. Okay? Come to office hours, ask me during science, but don't just suffer in silence. If this is confusing, let me know. Okay? Otherwise, have a good day and good luck with your experiment. Thanks.